the Sokol Enterprise was granted a substantial certification by the Russian Federal Air Transport Agency, Rosaviatsia, on May 20, 2025. Sokol is acknowledged as the legal successor to the Saratov Aviation Plant, or Z, which was once a prominent entity in Soviet and Russian civil aviation. This production organization approval certificate grants Sokol the authority to produce critical components for the Yak-42D aircraft, a decision that has significant implications for the aircraft's maintenance and longevity. The certificate verifies that Sokol's production processes adhere to rigorous federal aviation standards, guaranteeing that the components manufactured will maintain the safety and dependability necessary for commercial aviation. Certification includes an extensive range of competencies. Sokol is now authorized to manufacture various critical aircraft components, such as fuselage, wing, and tail assembly components. Furthermore, the certificate covers the production of various system components, including those for aircraft mechanization, pneumatic and hydraulic systems, fuel systems, and both cockpit and interior elements. Sokol will be required to renew its certification to continue operations after this comprehensive approval expires in more than two years. The current geopolitical climate and the challenges associated with importing aviation components underscore the significance of the ability to manufacture these parts domestically. The Yak-42, which Sokol will now provide parts for, occupies an exceptional position in the history of Russian aviation. The Yakovlev Design Bureau developed the Yak-42 in the 1970s as a, medi as a medium-range jet airliner that could accommodate up to 120 passengers. The Saratov Aviation Plant assembled the overwhelming majority of the over 180 aircraft that were built. The Yak-42D is a modern iteration that boasts enhanced performance and an expanded operating range. The Yak-42D is still in active service despite its age, and several Russian airlines continue to operate it. Kresavia, Izhavia, Arctica Airlines, and Rusjet are among the operators that operate 14 Yak-42Ds in commercial service as of mid-2025. It has been a journey of resilience and challenges for Sokol to reach this stage. In 1993, the organization was established with its main goal of manufacturing components for the Saratov Aviation Plant. SAID, which had been manufacturing and modifying Yak-42 aircraft since 1977, had a rich history. Nevertheless, the early 2000s saw a significant decrease in the number of aircraft orders, which ultimately resulted in the closure of SZ in 2012. Subsequently, the plant's extensive land was sold and redeveloped for residential and commercial purposes. The final Yak-42 left the assembly line in 2002, marking the conclusion of an epoch for the aviation industry in the Saratov region. Sokol was able to maintain its core competencies and continue to manufacture spare parts for the maintenance and repair of Yak-42s, despite the closure of the main facility, albeit on a much smaller scale. The company has preserved its ability to support the Yak-42 fleet by maintaining access to the technical documentation and production expertise that were inherited from the original Saratov facility. Today, Sokol is the main heir to SAD's legacy, and it must maintain the operational lifespan of these aircraft. The Yak-42D fleet's ongoing airworthiness is significantly impacted by the recent certification. The secure operation of these aircraft is contingent upon the availability of certified spare parts as they age. Russia has authorized the production of replacement parts to extend the service lifetimes of other Soviet-era aircraft, including the Antonov An-24 and An-26. This method enables airlines to continue operating older aircraft in a secure manner, although the development of new models is a time-consuming and expensive process. There is also a broader context to Sokol's certification. Recognizing the historical and economic importance of aircraft manufacturing, the Saratov region has expressed interest in revitalizing its aviation industry. Regional authorities are currently engaged in the development of business strategies and the exploration of organizational models to re-establish aircraft production, with a particular emphasis on small aviation. A new legal entity was created in 2025 to facilitate these efforts. 
proposals to revitalize the Saratov Aviation Facility and site inspections by representatives from major Russian aerospace companies have also demonstrated high-level political support. These initiatives indicate a renewed dedication to aviation in the region, although there are still obstacles to overcome, such as a restricted domestic market for light aircraft and the necessity of technology transfer and certification. Sokol's stability and future prospects are further bolstered by its current ownership structure. The Yak-42 technical documentation is continuing to be protected by the company, which is owned by Tatiana of Chinakova. This guarantees that Sokol is well-positioned to not only maintain the current fleet, but also to potentially broaden its involvement in Russian aviation manufacturing in the years to come. In conclusion, the certification of Sokol to manufacture Yak-42D components is an important step for the aviation sector of Russia. It provides a secure future for a legendary aircraft, preserves valuable industrial expertise in Saratov, and may serve as a foundation for broader initiatives to revive aircraft manufacturing in the region. This action is indicative of the opportunities and obstacles that Russian civil aviation is currently encountering as it attempts to strike a balance between economic realities, innovation, and tradition. Now, do you think these developments make Sokol a candidate for complete manufacture of Yak-42 aircraft if the need arises in the future? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.